Hi all, welcome back on my channel. Uh, today I want to share with you a uh, design I made regarding the million head. So um, it's something that is uh, critical on the CNC machine and uh, I put on this design some listeners learned that I have from previous customer. So I have two or three things to share with you. This video will be a, let's say a, a general presentation about uh, uh, the design choices um, and uh, I will not give um, a lot of details I, I will make another video for those uh, uh, those who want to to have more information about uh, this design so as you can see here the milling head is quite <coughs> uh, quite compact and uh, the first thing you have to to do when you when you work on a CNC machine and a design for the milling head, uh, you have to define uh, the power you want to to place in it. And uh, the uh, the motor I I chose uh, is this one. Uh, there is different type of uh, of motor and different type of mount. So uh, I choose this one for several reasons. Uh, first, I have a flange and uh, the norm for the flange is uh, B14 and it's uh, more easy to install especially to, uh, if you need to, uh, to rotate the, the, the engine and I uh, will see uh, in, uh, in a couple of minutes uh, there is two things to know about uh, this type of, of engine when you reach a certain uh, dimension you can remove the foot so it's uh, interesting if you do not need them and you use the flange to uh, to secure the engine. The other thing, uh, basically, all the engine, uh, a lot of engine, have a speed of uh, 3,000 uh, RPM, and uh, <coughs> it's the common speed for such type of uh, motor. It's a three-phase motor, and uh, the 3,000 has drawback. The torque is uh, uh, too low, and if you uh, reduce the speed with a VFD and uh, start with uh, a low torque when uh, you decrease the speed uh, you, know, you can have some uh, big concern during the machining operation that's why I choose uh, 1500 rpm engine um, for two reasons with a VFD uh, you have to know that you can reach the 3000 rpm uh, with no danger at all the design of this uh, this motor is able with the bearings and uh, everything else is able to reach uh, such speed and uh, with a <coughs> type of a motor like that um, there is several coils inside uh, that the 3001 uh, does, does not have so it means that the torque is higher for this speed uh, compared to the 3001 so it's a big advantage and uh, you can also run it at a higher speed, so that's why I chose uh, this engine. The power will be a three horsepower. It means it's a two that do two uh, kilowatts. And to drive this motor, uh, I will use a VFD. I already bought one, and uh, that's why I show you this uh, this drive. It's, it's uh, from Schneider Electric. Uh, <coughs> they are very simple to uh, to program. They are very efficient. Uh, they do not take a lot of space compared to the Chinese model and uh, they are very efficient and uh, uh, as you use a three-phase motor uh, you can have an input uh, single phase in your main so it's a very big advantage uh, for using a VFD and um, VFD then is able to uh, generate the three-phase for the engine so you can have uh, the forward and the reverse operation on your machine, so very interesting for for the tapping operation. And also, the VFD um, offer a lot of safety things and uh, is able to protect the the motor. So, uh, if there is a piece of equipment you need to buy for a, for an engine, is this one, um, especially if your main power is single phase you can drive uh, easily uh, three-phase motors so <coughs> it's the, the two things, uh, the two choices uh, I made for the design and uh, the, the third one uh, if I remove the front cover and if I remove 
remove these side plates uh, and I can remove also the bottom plate you can see here that uh, this engine is uh, driven with a two-stage uh, belt system and um, you will be surprised about that but it's uh, um, a big return from the past experience on my previous design I used some gears and uh, <coughs> thinking that it, it was uh, a more robust design but that I learned from the, the, the previous operation from the customer especially when uh, uh, the CNC has a crash when there is a, a you know a big uh, error during the 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 CNC program when there is a crash uh, you have a lot of uh, uh, breaks inside so the gear are broken and uh, you, you you create a lot of dam uh, damage in, inside so uh, I, I work on the design and uh, <coughs> it was uh, I, I, I take a long time to uh, to find uh, the best solution for that and uh, I discovered that uh, uh, supplier was making some very great product and uh, I, I will explain you uh, uh, in a moment what is great with the with the with this type of uh, specific belt and uh, in this application as it is belt driven uh, so the tool is supposed to um, uh, is mounted you know on the green shaft if the green shaft uh, for any reason cannot uh, turn as you have some belt and especially the two blue uh, the two blue parts here are some tensioner and some safety system I spend a lot of time to uh, to create them and to uh, to find a good ratio it, it, so it does mean that uh, if you stop this shaft as it is belt driven the tensioner will not able to put enough tension uh, to follow the torque here and uh, the belt will slip so it's a good way to protect all the mechanical things if you have a, a gear somewhere you can burn the engine you can break the tools uh, in this configuration with uh, this type of design especially the two tensioner then uh, the worst thing that can appear and uh, we make some testing with a, a customer the worst thing that can appear uh, you can burn the belt and then the belt is broken and the system and, and all the transmission is protected by this kind of design so it's one big advantage of a belt driven the other advantage uh, is the fact that there is no backlash no play at all between the engine and the, and the tool shaft so you can make some rigid tapping and uh, you have a very good result and it's a, a, a good thing for from a, a design point to, to protect the thing and i forgot to mention one thing and you can see here uh, it's the this box here is the electrical box where where you have the connection with the the cable and the engine and uh, I turn a little bit the engine and that's why a flange engine is very useful you can put everywhere uh, in place if you use the foot as you can see uh, if we were using the foot to, to uh, secure the motor it will be very difficult to find the proper place so uh, let's have a look now on the, on the type of belt I use and uh, you will see uh, the big advantage of that